Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. And I think this one is going to be very useful for a lot of people who are looking to capture their art in a more professional way, because today we're going to be talking about photographing your art. A lot of smartphones these days are actually pretty good at taking photos. Um, so if you want to like photograph your art, just to, like post on social media, you don't really need to buy like a, a professional camera. Um, and a lot of the times just using a smartphone and having good light on your art will be just good enough for, to post on social media. But if you want to, for example, what I'm trying to do right now is that I'm building a professional website, a uh, portfolio website for myself. And I want new photos, uh, professional photos of my art to post on there. And so what I'm gonna be doing and I'm gonna be showing you as I go through the process is using this, um, not mirrorless, what's it called? A DSLR, um, Canon DSLR. And this is a old, but still very good um, DSLR camera from Canon. I actually bought this when I was 17. Um, and it's, it's still, when I'm not using this camera that I'm using right now, this is still good for photography. A tip for any beginner photographers, um, it's usually more about the actual lens that's on the camera rather than the body. So um, make sure you invest in lenses if you wanna you know, upgrade your camera setup. But definitely for beginners, I recommend um, the, this camera body, the Canon Rebel T6. Um, it does decent video and it does just fine with uh, photography as well. Everything that I'm gonna need right now is my camera, obviously, then I'm going to have my art and I'm going to need, do I need a tripod? Maybe I don't need a tripod. I'll need this. Why am I forgetting the name of this? <laughs> um, what is this called? I'll figure it out in the edit. But um, right now, we're gonna go outside and I'm gonna talk about what I think is the perfect condition for photographing outside. So the reason I chose today to actually um, film, <laughs> the reason I actually chose today to photograph my paintings is because of the weather conditions. And let me explain. So the reason why I think this is like the perfect condition for photographing, photographing, <laughs> for taking pictures of your art is because the sunlight combined with the amount of cloud coverage that is present right now, like literally I can't see the sky at all. That's how much, you know, clouds there is. And I thought it was perfect because the clouds diffuse, diffuse the light that's coming from the sun and it makes it so that there's the least amount of shadows throughout the entirety of like the, environment that you're taking pictures of. And so when you go up close to the uh, picture, the painting or whatever artwork that you have, it's the best, you know, layout for the image. And so I'm going to be doing that now. Where did I put that camera? Hold on. All right, got it right here. So I'm actually going to be using a F1.8 prime lens on my Canon Rebel T6. And what a prime lens is, is basically a type of lens that doesn't zoom in. So I can't like turn it and like get close to the image. I have to be like in the exact position I want to be in regards to like how big the image is. Um, and the benefit of that is I get a lot of, a lot more light coming into the image on the camera. And also I get a higher amount of sharpness on the camera when I actually take the picture. So um, definitely if you're into still photography, look more into prime lenses. Um, you know, if you're in a like controlled environment like I'm trying to attain here. But yeah, let's get into the shooting. And um, yeah. All right. So that's the latest painting that I have done. But I also have a bunch of other paintings that I want to take pictures of. So I'm going to be doing those real quick.
All right, so those are some of the tips that I have for you in regards to photographing your art. And if you want to know how to edit some of these photos, make sure you subscribe because the next video I have is going to be editing your art, editing the photos of your art, I should say. Um, so make sure you're subscribed and turn on the notifications so that you know the next time I upload. I'll see you in the next video.